In this video, I will explain the difference between get static props and get server side props function in Next.js. So before I tell you the differences, let me tell you that both these functions are used to get the props to render the pages. So to display the information in a page, we need the props and those props are provided by these functions. Now let us see what are the differences between these two functions. So get static props, this function gets executed at build time. So when you build your application at that point of time, this function gets executed, props are generated and passed to the component. File in, in case of get server side props, this function gets executed at runtime. What it means is that after you, are, you have built the application and application is up and running, then the client comes and requests a page at that point of time, this get server side props function is gonna get executed. So that is the major difference between get static props and get server side props. The next difference is that in case of get static props, the static page is generated and can be served by the CDN. Once you build your application, all the static pages will be generated by executing this get static props function. And we don't need server, we can deploy these generated files or the pages on the CDN uh, server and basically we don't need node.js server okay but in case of get uh, but in case of get server side props we need node.js server to serve the data at runtime so what happens is that whenever the client is gonna make a request this get server side props function will execute get the latest data or the props and those props will be passed to the component which will render the data and then it will be sent to the client. Next major difference is that in case of get static props, the stale data may be served if the app is not built with the latest data. So for example, we have a cricketer and we have total runs scored by the cricketer. Say today a cricketer has scored say 1000 runs, but say tomorrow there is a match and he scores another 100 runs. So total runs is 1100. But if you haven't built the application tomorrow, then what will happen is that in case of get static props, it will still say that the cricketer has scored 1000 runs because that fresh data has not been gathered by get static props function. But in case of get server side props, whenever you will access that page to get this total runs for the cricketer, what will happen is that at that point of time, it will uh, execute the, uh, this particular function, get server side props, get the latest runs that have been scored by that cricketer and then it will say that this cricketer has scored 1100 runs. So it always gives you the latest data. It is not that get static props is unable to get the latest data from the server. In case of get static props, you can also get the latest data uh, using a feature called as revalidate. The last difference is that in case of get static props, it is very fast. The reason being, the static pages are generated and uh, they can be cached. But in case of get server side props, the request has to be made to the server to get the latest data. And that's why it can be a slower. So these are some of the major differences between get static props and get server side props in next years. If you have more questions, do not hesitate to ask me in the comments. Thanks for watching.